Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us for part two of our stream tutorial. Um, what I'm going to show you today is how to add overlays, and um, if you've noticed, I've stopped um, my original scenes, which were here, and um, which have my, here's my overlays all added together. And I'm going to show you how to make this, um, but first let's go back to our main scene um, that we're here. Um, I've got just for now, just for the streaming purposes, like uh, I've got the. Um, I'm gonna here's here's the game running in the background, and what we're gonna do. I'm gonna shut that off for just just for now, um, just so you can see what I'm doing. Um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna right click and you're gonna go add, and you're gonna add an image, and let's just name this. Um, well, you're gonna add. You can either add just one single image, or you can add multiple. I'm gonna show you both ways. But first, let's do. Let's just do a single image. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna browse your desktop, or wherever you have your image saved. Uh, so, for example, I'm gonna use just this signature image here. And you're gonna hit OK. And now it's here, but I don't like it up there. So what you're gonna do is you can click on. Make sure it's highlighted here. Um, and you're gonna hit Edit Scene and now that'll put a big red box around it and it'll let you move it to wherever you want so say so if you want it here and then it'll also let you resize it to how big or how small you want it alright so now say if you want to add say you don't you like the image but you want to add something behind it and the purpose of adding these in is for example um, you want to and let me get in game here So for example, what you want what you want to do that for I'm loading in the game is to cover the chat box. So for some reason the chat box in this game is humongous, but in Final Fantasy it's only about that big. So you would only you know you would only do it that big. So for so now what we're gonna do is you say you don't like the transparency through it, you can just go add. We're gonna add a new image image 2 you want it let's let's give it a white color um, actually you're gonna have to add something to it so what you could do is you can just download through Google or whatever like um, say a black box or whatever uh, whatever you want um, give me one second I'm sorry here uh, let's go overlay folder um, I've got some that I've made here um, if you want one made, just let me know and I can make one for you. Uh, is it this folder? Okay. So, for example, I've downloaded um, just a black square image here, just a box of a room or whatever. What you can do is you can go Edit Scene, and bring it down to where you want it. Um, let's make sure this image here is up on the top layer so you can see it. Let's go back to image two and resize it down to where you want it. And it seems to work better if you stretch from the left side to the right, um, or left to left. I'm sorry. Um, and what you can do now is say if you want to add in let's let's take up some more space here let's add in some text um, what we're gonna do I'm just gonna leave it named text and we'll go we'll go Arial for now let's go with a white font you gotta double click to get it hit OK and what we're gonna type in for example um, welcome to chaos theory dot com that's not what it is but just bear with me so let's make it a, let's give it a scrolling uh, effect so let's uh, let's give it an outline too uh, let's give it a, a red outline uh, hit OK let's give it a scroll speed of um, and let's go bolts 
Let's give it like a, a scroll speed of like five and then hit OK. And you'll see it's up here, but it's tiny. So let's move it down to where people can actually see it and let's stretch it out. You can change the font size while you're making it and it won't look as blocky as this, but this is just for tutorial reasons. I'm just doing it fast. And that's pretty much how you do overlays. And um, again, you can move each layer as you want. So here's what, so I switched scenes. I showed you how to do that in the last video. Um, here's my overlay. Um, I just got a, you can add a random GIF in there if you want. So my GIF is this Chocobo. Um, so here's what it would look like in the game. Um, so let's go change. I'm going to have to change this to the game. Hit OK. So now you see the game. Um, but for some reason my game is not sized right so I can stretch it. So what you can do is you can right click on the game go position and size and fit to screen. And what that did is it fit it to screen the size that it is in the game.